Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Darpan Kaur and I'm a maxillofacial surgeon and an aesthetic doctor. Welcome to the second chapter of this series. If you're new here, make sure you check out the first part where I talk about everything you need to look for in a sunscreen and why. In this video, I'm going to talk about the proper way to apply sunscreen so that you can keep yourself protected from the harmful radiations of the sun. Before we move on, please make sure you subscribe for more content on medicine and healthcare. With everything we learned in the last video, it's become clear that daily application of sunscreen is the most crucial step in any day skincare routine for a healthy skin for both men and women. In fact, if you had to build a skincare routine based around one and one product only, make sure it's a sunscreen. There are three things that play a key role in sunscreen application. The first is the quantity, the second is the potency, and the third is the time of application. So let's start with the quantity. The quantity of sunscreen applied plays a huge role in its efficacy against UV radiation. An adult would require 30 ml of sunscreen to effectively cover their entire body. This is the size of a small perfume bottle. An effective way to cover your face is to use one whole teaspoon or the two finger rule which basically means that the quantity of sunscreen that can effectively cover your two fingers should be applied across your face. Most people apply a thin layer of sunscreen. The small quantity is not enough to protect your skin against UV radiations. As a general rule of thumb, it is believed that the protection that people ultimately obtain from sunscreen is one-fifth of the recommended quantity. This is where the potency of the sunscreen plays a role. It is recommended that you purchase a broad spectrum sunscreen with a minimum SPF of 30. Please note that this will not compensate for the measly quantity of sunscreen that someone may be applying, but at least it won't be completely useless. Ideally, a broad spectrum sunscreen with a minimum SPF of 30 should be applied adequately across your face and other parts of your body getting exposed to the sun. Finally, the time of application. It is suggested that you apply sunscreen at least 30 minutes before stepping out in the sun. Consequently, if you find yourself in the sun throughout the day, sunscreen should be reapplied every two hours for optimal sun protection. It is important to keep in mind that sunscreens are still a developing science, which means that there is no sunscreen that provides 100% protection from the entire spectrum of UV radiation, which is why it is important to combine sunscreens with other physical methods of sun protection, such as umbrellas, hats, sunglasses, window shields, etc. Sunscreens can be classified into physical sunscreens or chemical sunscreens. I'm going to be elaborating on these two types in the next part of this series, so keep watching to find out if one is better than the other so that you can make more informed decisions. Don't forget to like and share this video and please subscribe for more content on medicine and healthcare. Keep watching.